Welcome to the Museum of Emotions. Click on the red button to start your tour. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle, and I'll be your guide today. Let's explore this space together. We have three parts for your tour here. In Emotion Corridor, you can learn more about emotions. In Knowledge Station, you can learn some psychological problems related to emotions. In Emotion Workshop, we'll tell you some skills to cope with your emotion. Let's start from Emotion Corridor. First of all, what is emotion? Let's take a look together. Here, you can learn seven universal emotions. Click on my faces to understand them better. Now, you already know universal emotions. It's also important to know where do they come from. In the second part of this corridor, let's learn some interesting facts about emotions and stimuli. Now, let's go to Knowledge Station. In this station, you will learn about depression and anxiety disorders, which are common in our life. Let's go to learn about depression first. This is what happened to me before. I felt so bad every day. These are my feelings at that time. My doctor told me I got depression. I knew there are many myths about it, but the reality is different. Fortunately, there are many people around me that could help me. They always support me and care about me. If you are in the same situation like me, don't be afraid to seek for help. If the one you love is in depression, Show them your support. Now, let's learn about another common psychological problem, anxiety disorder. Do you feel anxious as I do, like before an important exam or before going to live in another country? It's very common. But if someone is too anxious to have a normal life, then it might be anxiety disorder. There are five most common types of anxiety disorder. OCD, PTSD, panic disorder, phobias, and social phobia, a more common type of phobia. After learning this information, you may question about if you are normal anxiety or an anxiety disorder. It's important to take a regular inspection and never try to diagnose by yourself. There are easier ways to deal with anxiety. Let's check the workshop. Here are some coping skills good for us to deal with emotions. Whether you are feeling lonely, nervous, sad or angry, these skills can help you. For example, care for yourself, engage in a hobby, and others. At the end of this corridor, you can watch this video for more details about coping skills. It's also important to know some unhealthy coping skills and avoid them. Dealing with your emotion in the wrong way may lead to a tragic situation. Thanks a lot for visiting the Museum of Emotion. Hope you enjoyed today's tour. See you!